Dear students, today we begin our first lecture from the analytical chemistry of the second semester. The name of our first lecture is quantitative analysis. Quantitative analysis is the determination of the absolute or relative abundance, often expressed as a concentration of one, several or all particular substance present in a sample. Quantitative analysis divided into two parts, as we see from the table. The first is volumetric analysis. Second is gravimetric analysis. They are is chemical analysis. Uh, in the volumetric analysis, a solution of uh, B at uh, known concentration is added to a known volume of A until the number of the equivalent of B is equal to zeros of A. The added volume of B is measured and the concentration of A can be calculated. In the other word, volumetric analysis is based on the determination of the measurement of the volume of the reagent uh, consumed for the interaction with the analyzed sample. Gravimetric analysis is based, as we see, on the chemical reaction, like the volumetric analysis. Uh, in this case, uh, an excess of B at unknown concentration is added to A to, uh, so that A is completely transformed in C that can be weighted. The gravimetric analysis, in the other word, uh, based on measurement of the accurate weight, accurate mass of the sample, analyzed sample. There are three basic principles of quantitative definition. The first, measurement of the physical properties of the substance or products of the chemical reaction. The first physical pro properties, for example, density, uh, we uh, use the density for the uh, solutions, for the liquids. Other physical properties is a color, different color of the solutions, and electrical conductivity of the solutions, and other. The second measurement of amount of the product of the chemical reaction of the substance with any reagent by weight of sediment, gas, volume, for example. For example, to determine of barium ion in the composition of barium chloride, it is completely precipitated by, by uh, uh, sulfate anion quantitatively. Res the resulting solution is filtered and dried to constant weight. And uh, we have the reaction, chemical reaction. It, it is a, a, a precipitation of barium ion with a sulfide uh, anion uh, and form precipitation from barium sulfate. Then determine the mass of the sample, of the, the mass of the uh, precipitation form. Uh, we use the uh, proportion method by the uh, proportion molecular weight of the barium sulfate precipitation form uh, to molecular weight of barium ions and uh, molecular weight of the A uh, substance. A here is the barium chloride initial substance and X, we find X uh, weight of the uh, barium Anion, because barium anion is a determinate anion, a determinate functional group. Here, x equal a multiplied molecular weight of barium anion and divide molecular weight of precipitation form. Third measurement of the volume of the reagent, gas or uh, reagent solution consumed for chemical interaction with the substance to be determined. For example, the reagent solution is added in a small portion and establishes the equivalent point of the chemical reaction. In the picture, we can see the titration process in which from the burette, it is a, a vessel, a chemical vessel, uh, drop by drop, add uh, titrant solution to the analyzed sample. 
In this case, for example, acid of unknown concentration. And uh, we use in the titration method, as usually for detection of equivalent point, is use some uh, indicators. Analytical methods, methods can be separated into classical and instrumental methods, as we see before uh, classical methods, for example, gravimetric analysis, uh, chemical, classical, chemical methods, gravimetric analysis, volumetric analysis. And uh, for uh, instrumental methods, we know uh, we use the apparatus uh, to measure the physical quantities of the analyte, such as light adsorption, fluorescence, or conductivity. Uh, and from these methods, we know spectroscopy, electrochemistry, chromatography, and other methods. Gravimetric analysis, it's uh, one type of the chemical analysis. Uh, as we say before, uh, it's based on the measurement of the accurate weight of the analyzed sample. In this method, gravimetric analysis, they are used the, uh, uh, the uh, other methods which uh, uh, we use in gravimetric analysis. For example, precipitation method is most common used in this uh, gravimetric analysis. And we see from the uh, picture there are different steps of the gravimetric analysis. Uh, the uh, steps, for example, at first is uh, taking of the sample. Second step is the uh, weighting of the sample. Third is the dissolution. Uh, next step, uh, precipitation. Other step, uh, after precipitation, we have filtration, washing of the precipitation. Uh, then we have uh, washing of the pre precipitation. After we have drying, uh, we have ignition. At first, at last, we uh, uh, we calculate the results of the analysis. Volumetric analysis, as we said uh, before, it is a general term for the method in quantitative chemical analysis in which the amount of substance is determined by the measurement of the volume that the substance occupies. It is commonly used to determine the known concentration of a known reactant. Volumetric analysis is often referred to as titration, a laboratory technique in which one substance of unknown concentration and volume is used to react with another substance of unknown concentration. Titrometric analysis. The term titrometric analysis refers to quantitative chemical analysis carried out by determining the volume of the solution of accurately known concentration, which is required to react quantitatively with a measured volume of the solution of a substance to be determined. The solution of accurately known concentration is called standard solution. Titer meaning the concentration of substance in grams in one milliliter of solution. Titer is the concentration of the solution. The exact concentration region solution used in titrometric analysis are called titrants or secondary standard or working solutions. The concentration of titrants is established using special substances with suitable chemical properties, consistency of the composition, stability, and called standards, or in other primary standards. Determination of basis, titrant solution for determination of the basis, as titrant solution is used hydrogen chloride solution and determined according to an exact weight of the standard, primary standard, sodium carbonate or sodium tetraborate. Sodium uh, carbonate and sodium tetraborate are primary standard solutions, 
which we used for determination of exact concentration of hydrogen chloride solution. Determination of the point of equivalence in titrometric analysis is carried out by titration, the gradual addition of the titrant to the solution of the analyte. The equivalent point is fixed uh, using the chemical or instrumental indicators. Chemical indicators change their color depending on pH, redox potential when an excess of reagent appears in a solution or the analyte disappears. For example, from the table, we can see pH of the different indicator, indicators in the uh, which have the different colors. For example, universal indicator is uh, in uh, um, acidic medium. It's red in natural, it's green in uh, basic medium, in alkali medium it is purple. Phenolphthalene, phenolphthalene uh, uh, it's uh, in natural medium in natural medium it is uh, colorless, in uh, acidic medium it is colorless, in uh, alkaline medium it is purple. Methyl orange in, acid, in natural medium it's orange or red, in uh, acidic medium it's yellow and in uh, basic medium it's yellow. Timol blue it's um, is pink in natural medium. It's uh, in acidic medium. It is yellow, and in basic medium, in alkali medium, it's blue and other. There are four main types of titration: acid-based titration, complexometric titration, precipitation titration, and redox titration. Acid-based titration in which an acidic or basic titrant reacts with an analyte that is a base or an acid. Complexometric titration involving a metal ligand complexation reaction. Precipitation titration, as we see from the name, uh, in which the analyte and titrant react to form a precipitate. Redox titration where the titrant is an oxidizing or redu reducing agents. There are three types of titration, three ways of titration. Direct titration, back titration, and substitution titration. For example, sodium chloride in solution can be determined by back titration, adding to its solution an excess of the titrant one first titrant, first titrant is silver nitrate, and titrating the underreacting unreacting part of the uh, silver nitrate with the second titrant solution, ammonium rhodonite or ammonium thiocyanate. The amount of silver nitrate solution V consumed on interaction with sodium chloride is determined by the difference between its added volume V1 and volume V2 retitrated volume, titrated with a solution of ammonium rhodonite. And uh, the reactions uh, we can uh, present in this form uh, by, by two reactions. The first reaction, uh, in the first reaction we can see that the, uh, for determination of sodium chloride, Silver nitrate is added to sodium nitrate chloride in excess and form silver chloride precipitate. Then the excess of the uh, silver nitrate uh, solution retitrated with a second titrant solution, ammonium rhodonite. For example, uh, uh, example of the substitution titration. For example, potassium bichromate is determined by adding potassium iodide and sulfuric acid. Sulfuric acid is a medium for this reaction. Freodine released, freodine released by the oxidation reduction reaction 
is titrated with a sodium thiosulfate solution. This is substitution titration. Uh, in this reaction, uh, amount of the potassium bichromate solution is substituted on the uh, quantitatively, uh, substitute on the amount of free iodine solution, which is possible titration, uh, back titration, uh, direct titration, and um, formed released uh, free iodine by addition of the indicator. Indicator in this method is uh, colloidal starch solution. Uh, by addition of starch solution to the freezing solution, which is released uh, on the quantitatively, quantitatively from the reaction, uh, form blue color. And uh, we titrate freezing, which is released in the conical flask, with a sodium thiosulfate titran solution, which is in the burette. And and the equivalent point, blue color of the uh, freeodine is disappears. Acid-based titration is a type of the uh, titration, first type of the titration. Acid-based titration methods, as we say before, uh, are based on the use of the reaction between acids and bases. Uh, in the other uh, word, we call this method a neutralization method. In general, this reaction can be represented by the two equations. In this case, oxonium ion is an acid, B it's a base, salt, and solvent, water. Uh, acid, oxonium ion, plus base, and uh, uh, water is a solvent. Acid-based titration. Acid-based titration is divided into two parts on acidimetric and alkalimetric. In acidimetric titration, as we see from the name of the method, as titran solutions used acids, hydrogen chloride and sulfuric acid. In alkalimetric titration, as titrant solutions used alkalis, sodium hydroxide and potassium hydroxide. All titrants are secondary standard solutions. Therefore, demand on of standardization, definition of precise concentration. So for this purpose, we have to use primary standard solution. Acidimetric titration is used to determine strong and weak bases, basic salts, salts of weak acids, and organic compounds with basic properties. When titrating strong bases with acid solutions, at the moment of the equivalence, water and natural salt are obtained. The solution has a natural reaction. For example, strong base, it's a strong base which have a hydroxide group. We can represent this by these reactions. Strong base sodium hydroxide plus hydrogen chloride here form salt and water. And pH of the medium is equal 7. If a weak base is titrated, for example, ammonium occurs neutralization reaction of a weak base with a strong acid. For example, weak base ammonium anion, uh, ammonium cation, sorry, plus water, here form uh, ammonium, free ammonia in gas, and hydroxonium ion. And the reaction we can represent it. Uh, in this form, ammonium hydroxide plus hydrogen chloride form ammonium chloride, like this reaction, and form water. The resulting salt of a weak base undergoes hydrolysis. Hydrolysis, uh, for example, ammonium chloride plus water, it is a uh, hydrolysis reaction. Here form ammonium hydroxide and strong acid. 
as uh, 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 and the medium of the reaction pH um, less than 7. When titrating salt of weak acid, for example, sodium acetate, a weak acid is formed and uh, the reaction is represented in this form uh, acetate anion plus hydrogen proton form weak acid and the reaction it's a uh, titration of the salt which formed from the weak acid and strong base the reaction with a hydrogen chloride with a, with a strong acid forms a uh, weak acid and uh, salt, sodium chloride, and pH in this case less than 7. If a salt of a weak acid is formed by the pro pro polyprotonic acid, for example, carbon, uh, sodium carbonate, then during titration several points of equivalence are observed. For example, uh, by addition of hydro strong hydrogen chloride to trans solution to sodium carbonate to the primary standard solution form sodium hydrocarbonate in the first equivalent point in the second equivalent point sodium hydrocarbonate titrated continued titrated to titration with a hydrogen chloride and in the second equivalent point, pH of the medium less than 7. For titration of the basic salts, for example, calcium hydroxychloride, the reaction represented in this form uh, with a strong hydrogen chloride acid and the pH equal 7. Organic bases. From the organic bases, for example, are it's a radical NH2 amine, some amines, plus hydrogen uh, in the second reaction are formed. The reaction of the medium at the equivalent point is neutral. For example, uh, it's a, in the picture we can see the uh, titration of the alkalometric titration. In this case, uh, we can see the, uh, 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 that in equivalent point, in this case, is use the phenolphthalein indicator, acid base indicator phenolphthalein, which has changed the color from colorless into purple. Uh, for example, it is a before titration, it's after titration, uh, at the equivalent point. Before titration, the solution is colorless. Uh, at the equivalent point, it is purple, as we see. Strong acids, for example, uh, titration of strong acid hydrogen chloride with a uh, titran solution sodium hydroxide, pH of the medium is equal 7. When titrating weak acids such as acetic acid, acetate, iron is formed, which undergoes hydrolysis as a result of which the reaction of the medium at the equivalent point becomes weakly alkaline. Weak acids, for example, uh, titration of the weak acid, sodium um, acetic acid with a st strong base with a sodium hydroxide, hydrolysis of the uh, salt which formed from the weak acid uh, and strong base, in this case, pH of the medium more than 7. Acidic salts, for example, sodium hydrosulfate, when titrated, form normal salts, for example, sodium sulfate and water. And the equivalent point occurs in the natural medium. Acidic salts, titration of the acidic salts, sodium hydroxysulfate with a Titran solution uh, sodium hydro hydroxide pH of the medium equal 7. Salts of weak bases during titration with sodium hydroxide solution form a weak base which undergoes hydrolysis. 
for example, ammonium chloride with a s s strong sodium hydroxide form a uh, weak ammonium hydroxide base and pH of the medium more than 7. Organic acids are also capable of titration which with sodium hydroxide solution and the resulting anion of the acid reacts to hydrolysis and the medium becomes alkaline. For example, titration of the organic acid, organic acid sodium uh, acetic acid with the sodium hydroxide and hydrolysis of this uh, salt formed during the reaction it's the hydrolysis of this uh, pH of the medium more than 7 because form a free hydroxide group. The possibility of using acid-based titration is determined by the total equilibrium constant of the acid-base reaction which should be greater than 1 Multiply 10 uh, in 8 degree. If the completeness of binding of the substance being titrated is 99.99% and its residue is 0.01% or 1 multiplied minus 4 degree of the initial amount taken as unit. Uh, it's, we have the proportion uh, 100 to 0 0.01 and mole, one mole of this, uh, this solution is x and from this we can find x x uh, equal 10 minus 4 mole liter and uh, we can represent this by the equation hydrogen proton plus uh, b anion uh, form hb it's a uh, some uh, acids and the concentration of this is equal 1 concentration of the uh, hydrogen proton is equal 10 minus 4 we found from this e uh, proportion and concentration of the B anion is equal 10 minus 4 degree the same and the constant of the equilibrium we can found from the find from the uh, equation uh, concentration of the acid divide uh, on the concentration of hydrogen plus proton uh, multiplied uh, uh, con uh, concentration of B minus uh, and from this we find that the constant of equilibrium is equal uh, 10 8 by degree of 8. For example, based on the equilibrium constant, the formate ion cannot be completely titrated and the phenolate ion can be. Ion can be. The uh, formate ion plus hydrogen proton form formate acid and the constant of the equilibrium in this case we can see from the calculation is equal 0 0.56 multiplied 10 uh, in a uh, 4 degree and the uh, uh, co constant uh, less than 10 8 the reaction is incomplete can cannot be titrated the phenolate ion for example phenolate ion uh, titration uh, with a hydrogen proton we can form uh, phenols and the constant of the equilibrium is equal 0 0.95 multiplied 10 in 10 degree. In this case, uh, constant more than 10, 8 and can be titrated. Determination of the equivalent point it is possible to determine equivalent point by two ways, by the chemical indicators and by the physical chemical methods. By the physical chemical methods, we know the potentiometric titration, uh, conductometric titration, photometric, spectrophotometric, amperometric methods. Chemical
physical indicators. There are two type of chemical indi indicators, for example, acid type indicators. Uh, in this case, we can we have hydrogen indicator, which is the composite in, on hydrogen, uh, positively charged hydrogen proton, negatively charged indicator. And in this case, constant of acidity we found from this equation. Base type of indicator, hydrogen proton with the indicator form, uh, indicator hydrogen uh, with a hydrogen proton and constant of basicity we can find from this equation. Phenolic groups under the influence of an alkaline medium are capable of passing into henoid group. For example, the phenolic group uh, it's passing into henoid group. Indicators, as we see from the um, before this, we say that the indicators change the color in dependence of the medium, in dependence of the pH and other parameters. Some indicators are better suited to different acid-base reaction. Uh, indicators have the transition interval. It's a transition interval. It's the range of the pH that they are effective. And they have the end point. End point, it's a point where the indicator changes from one color to another color. From the table, we can see uh, the name of other uh, some indicators, the color of these indicators in acidic form, the range of the color change, and color of the indicator in basic form. For example, methyl violet. In acidic medium, it's yellow. In basic, it's violet. And range of the color of uh, change from 0, 0.0 to 1.6. Or methyl orange. It's in acidic medium. It's red. Uh, in uh, basic, in alkaline medium, it's yellow. And its transition range from 0 0.1 to 4.4 .4. and other examples you can see from the table. PT. Uh, PT of most often used indicators in the acid base titration. For example, material range has uh, PT4. We can calculate it from the table. Methyl range, for example, uh, it has a transition range from 3.1 to 4.4. And PT, uh, its uh, exponent, titration exponent, is equal to the midpoint of the uh, range of the indicator. For example, methyl range has a range from 3.1 to 4.4, and PT is a middle point, 4. As we see, it's 4. Or methyl red. Methyl red. Uh, transition range from 4.4 uh, to uh, 6.2. And uh, titration exponent, PT, for methyl red, is equal 5.5. .5. So, is middle point of the transition range. PT of the indicator is the value of pH at which color of the indicator sharply changes and stops to add to trend. There is end point of titration. Uh, in the picture we can see the uh, chemical structure formal of phenolphthalein uh, in acidic medium. Uh, it is uh, that this uh, form of the phenolphthalein in acidic medium is colorless and um, after uh, titration in X equivalent point in alkali medium, it's violet. Timolphthalene, chemical structure uh, uh, formal of the timolphthalene is colorless in acidic medium and blue in alkali medium. Methyl orange, 
It's yellow before titration, yellow in alkaline medium, and uh, red in acidic medium, as we see it by addition of hydrogen chloride. Methyl red, it's a chemical formula, structure formula of methyl red indicator. Now about the acid-base titration curves. Carries out uh, the decision of the sound tasks. The first, the possibility of titration. Second, indicator selection. Third, titrant selection. Curves of acid-base titration express the depends of the of a change in the pH of a medium on the volume of titrant added. When calculating the pH. Three main parameters are taken into account. The first, composition of tetrametric mixture. Second, acid and base ionization constant. Acid and base ionization constant. Third, proportion of titrated substance. Proportion of titrated substance, which is uh, found from this equation. And its normality concentration of the base multiplied volume of the base, divide normality concentration of acid, multiplied uh, volume of the acid. And the residual fraction of the substance being titrated is equal 1 minus P. After the equivalent point, P more than 1, because an excess of titrant is formed in the system. Excess titrant is peer uh, after the equivalent point P or more than 1 because an excess of titrant is formed in the system. Excess titrant is peer minus 1. In the general formula up to the equivalent point 1 minus P. After the equivalent point P minus 1 is used. You need to know four states. Titration of the strong acid with a strong base, titration of a weak acid with a strong base, titration of strong base with a strong acid, titration of the weak base with a strong acid. The first, titration curve of the strong acid with a strong base. For example, uh, two, uh, 20 milliliter of 0.1 mole of hydrogen chloride solution are titrated with 0.1 mole of sodium hydroxide. Before the start of the titration, uh, pH is uh, uh, concentration of hydrogen proton is equal zero. Ten minus one, pH is equal one. When titrating to the equivalent point, the residual fraction is based on one minus p, and uh, uh, concentration of hydrogen. Uh, proton is equal concentration of acid multiplied 1 minus P. pH is equal uh, inverse logarithm multiplied concentration of acid multiplied 1 minus P. If uh, 80 milliliter of 0.1 mole of sodium hydroxide was consumed for titration, we can uh, using the, this formal, using this formal, we can find P. P equal 18 milliliter multiplied 0.1 normality of the sodium hydroxide, divide 20 milliliter of uh, hydrogen chloride acid multiplied 0.1 molarity or its concentration of the hydrogen chloride solution, and it is equal 0.9. And uh, pH uh, from the calculation we can find is equal to. If volume of sodium hydroxide is equal to 19.8 milliliter, then P equal, and to use this equation, we find that uh, volume of the sodium hydroxide with a 0.1 normality concentration and uh, divide uh, 20 milliliter of hydrogen chloride multiplied 0.1 molarity so, uh, concentration of the acid equal 0.99. And pH from the equation is equal 3. At the equivalent point, we use, uh, for example, 20 milliliter of sodium hydroxide was consumed. Hydrogen chloride with sodium, uh, titration of hydrogen chloride with the sodium hydroxide. 
pH equals 7. Fourth, when titrating of the equivalent point, uh, the x fraction is based on p minus 1 and p o h p h we find from these equations. Suppose 22 milliliter of sodium hydroxide were consumed. In this case, p equal 1.1 and pH equal 12 from the equation. Second, titration of a weak acid with a strong base. 20 liter of 0.1 mole of acetic acid solution are titrated with 0.1 mole of sodium hydroxide. Before the start of titration, concentration of hydrogen proton is equal in the root of um, acidity constant multiplied concentration of acid. pH equal uh, we find from the equation and uh, uh, constant uh, for acids equilibrium constant for, uh, for the acids we find it's equal uh, uh, 1.8 multiplied 10 minus 5 and uh, p car for acid uh, 4.74 and a pH from the calculation we found is equal 3 when titrated to the equivalent point concentration of the hydrogen protons is uh, found from this equation And using this uh, other calculations, we found uh, the results of these calculations. In the third type, at the equivalent point, hydrogen uh, concentration of hydrogen protons is found from this equation. And uh, according to this, we find pH. pH using this calculation is found it's equal 8.687 for the when titrating after the equivalent point the residual fraction is based on p minus 1 and we use these calculations acid based titration errors errors in measuring the volume of solution arise due to uh, in accuracy in measuring the solutions of the substance and tetrant. They consist of the volume of one drop, uh, uh, approximately 0.05 milliliter, with which the solution is usually retitrated and the calibration errors of metals, uh, it's uh, vessels, for example, uh, burettes, pipettes, volumetric flasks, that are subject to uh, deviations plus minus 0 0.01, 0 0.02 milliliter. Errors, there are two types of errors. It's measurement error and indicators errors. Uh, with um, the denoted this uh, TE. It's a titration error, TE. Uh, it's equal plus minus new multiplied 100 divided volume V. Here, new is the sum of the drop volume, 0 0.05 milliliter. And uh, deviations in the volume of the uh, of metals burette, uh, 0 0.02 milliliter and pipette 0 0.02 milliliter. And using this, we uh, find the sum of this. Uh, it's equal 0 0.05 plus 0 0.02, 0 0.02. It's equal total 0 0.09. And volume is the volume of the, uh, V is the volume of the titrated solution or titrant and measured by milliliter. First measurement error, uh, for example, we found it from the calculation. Titration error uh, using this, using the formula this formal we found titration error that uh, is equal uh, 0 0.9 percent and when titrating 20 milliliter of the analyte solution we use uh, this right here 20 milliliter uh, and the titration error is equal 0 0.45 if volume is equal 25 
uh, titration error is equals 0 0.36. Second type of uh, measurement, acid-base error, uh, it's uh, indicator errors. Uh, indicator errors appears when the point of the end of titration uh, PT of the indicator does not correspond to equivalent point. There are four types of errors. It's uh, proton error, hydroxide error, acid error, basic. The proton error is calculated in the percent and the initial number of protons is equal to the product of normality of the acid and the volume of the solution. NV. And uh, at the time of the end of titration, the index of proton concentration is equal PT, uh, titration exponent of the indicator, and PT is equal pH and equal inverse logarithm of concentration of hydrogen proton. High concentration of hydrogen proton is equal 10 minus PT. The final number of protons is determined by the product of the sum of the initial volume and added volume we added during the titration by the concentration of protons. And we write it uh, represented in the, with the, this equation. The proton error is determined from the proportion taking the initial amount of hydrogen as 100%. Normality and volume of solution is uh, correspond to, to the 100% uh, and this equation to a titration error of the uh, hydrogen protons and titration error from this uh, pro uh, proportion is found. For example, when titrating 25 milliliter of 0.1 normality of hydrogen chloride solution with the 0.1 normality of sodium hydroxide solution with methyl orange indicator, PT of this indicator is equal 4, and the proton error is found, uh, it's equal from the equation to 0.2%. If it's taken methyl red, met for this indicator PT is equal 5. Uh, titration uh, error of, of uh, hydrogen proton is equal 0.02%. In the case of alkali deficiency and acid overlining at the end of the titration, an excess of hydroxide ions appears in the solution and the hydroxide errors occurs. Hydroxide errors, we denote it titration error of hydroxide. In the case of incomplete titration of weak acid, some amount of acid remains in solution in molecular form and an acid error occurs. The amount of weak acid in this case is determined by the ratio of the concentration of acid to the concentration of acidic residue. Since the titrated acids, acid exists in the solution as anion. The error is too large, so you need to replace the indicator choice in phenolphthalein (PT). We get titration error for phenolphthalein, which is uh, represented with uh, uh, expressed by percent. In the case. Um, of incomplete titration of weak base at the end of the titration as a solution, its exit remains as and the basic error appears. And uh, for example, we can represent it with a uh, reaction titration error for the base. Its example. The next. Uh, the next uh, part of our uh, lecture is uh, uh, precipitation titration. Precipitation titration, uh, it is a type of the titration, second type of titration, a special type of titrometric uh, produ uh, produces 
procedure involves the formation of a precipitated uh, during the course of titration. The titrant reacts with the analyte forming an insoluble material and the titration continues till the very last amount of analyte is consumed. The first drop of titrant in excess will react with an indicator resulting in a color change and uh, announcing the, the, term, uh, the termination of the titration. Example, for example, the uh, titration of silver nitrate with, uh, uh, sorry, titration of sodium chloride with silver nitrate, silver nitrate is titrant solution, forms silver chloride precipitation. In precipitation titration method for the chemical reactions, use the following requirements are imposed. Uh, for example, uh, an insoluble precipitate should form. The reaction rate uh, should be sufficiently large or, uh, or to proceed instantly. The reaction should uh, not be reversible. Precipitation must be quantitatively complete. External ions should not be absorbed by the precipitation precipitate. Uh, or uh, there should not be paired precipitation. At last, the equivalent point should be easily determined. If non-precipitated amount is 0.01%, uh, then 10 minus 4 mole of solution remains in solution. And from the proportion, we find that x equal 10 minus 4 degree. With the same ion uh, change of substance A and titran B, uh, the precipitate has a decomposition AB. For example, uh, we see it from the equation and the concentration of titran B in the solution above the precipitate is also equal to um, uh, 10 minus 4. For example, silver plus uh, silver ion plus chloride ion form uh, precipitation silver chloride and titrable substance A to trend B solubility product for them uh, for for the uh, formed uh, substance A B equal a concentration of the uh, uh, anion A multiplied concentration of uh, uh, substance B. And uh, they both equal 10 minus 4. Uh, classification of the method. Uh, uh, precipitation titration divide on uh, argentometric, argentometric titration, theocyanometric titration, and mercurometric titration. As we see from the name in argentometric titration, as trans solution is used, silver nitrate solution. In theocyanometric or rhodonometric titration, titran solution used ammonium rhodonite. In mercurometric titration, mercury nitrate univalent. Uh, in argentometry used for analysis, uh, analysis for uh, chlorate, bromide, iodide, cyanide, uh, rhodonite, and silver salts. When uh, silver nitrate interacts with chlorides, bromides, and iodides, water insoluble precipitates are formed. And there are, we can see, the solubility product for the uh, precipitates of the silver. Theocyanometry used for analysis of the silver ions. Mercurometry used for analysis of chloride and bromides. And, for example, solubility product for some uh, mercury uh, chloride, mercury bromide uh, salts. Precipitation titration curve. The titration curve uh, in the uh, coordinate axis shows the dependence of the concentration of the substance or titrant in the titrometric mixture on the volume of the added titrant. For convenience, the concentration is represented as a function of P. And from this we found P function uh, A and P uh, for chloride ion. 
the concentration calculation of the concentration in the co construction of the curve is carried out according to the formulas for example first before the start of titration the concentration of chloride iron is equal to the concentration of sodium chloride as we see from the equation second in the process of titration to the equivalent point with the calculating in formula uh, one first formula the degree of titration p is introduced which proportionally reduces the concentration of sodium chloride and the concentration of chloride ion is equal concentration of sodium chloride uh, one minus p and where p were found from the equation which we used before uh, this and from this p for chloride is equal inverse logarithm c a concentration of sodium chloride uh, 1 minus p and uh, we have an example from, from this and search at the equivalent point the concentration of uh, chloride ion is calculated from the solubility product of the silver chloride we found it from the equation Fourth, in the process of titration after the equivalent point, the concentration of chloride ion is small and the chlorine uh, is calculated from solubility product of silver chloride, taking into account the in increase in concentration of uh, silver by the degree of titration P. It's the example. In the cathars of precipitation titration, in the method of precipitation titration for fixing the equivalent point of equivalence, uh, equivalent point indicators of the following types are used: precipitating, metallochromic, and adsorption. For example, potassium chromate used in more methods, silver chromate. Precipitating indicators such indicators that are e extracted from a solution in the form of precipitate in a well visible form at or near equivalent points. A small number of precipitation indicators are known. With the trunk form colored precipitates, for example, it's a uh, form of indicator with the precipitation. The concentration of the titrant called the indicator is formed from the solubility product of the precipitate and from this, for example, uh, silver ion plus uh, chloride ions, precipitated silver chloride and the uh, form of indicator. Metallochromic indicators in the precipitation titration indicators that form colorate complexes with the titrant near the equivalent point. The interaction of the indicator substance A and titrant B in the simplest case can be represented by this reaction. This reaction process in two stages. In the first stage, the composition of the substance AB and the reaction of the anion with the indicator. An equilibrium constant we found from this equation. If equilibrium constant more than one towards formation of the complex, if equilibrium constant less than one towards the formation of the precipitate AB, solubility product of the substance AB less than constant of uh, B indicator. For example, solubility product of the uh, precipitate silver rhodonite less than so uh, less than constant of equilibrium of the indicator, formed indicator. Third adsorption indicators in solutions ionized forming easily polarized ions that are colored or change color under the influence of changed particles polarized. The composition of adsorption indicators from protons hydrogen, 
an indicator, negatively charged uh, indicator. The anions of some dyes change their color by adsorbing. It's a determination of sodium chloride with a tetran solution silver nitrate formed silver chloride solid. In the case of opposite charge precipitate and precipitate change color. The absorption of the indicators occurs on precipitates that absorb positive ions. For example, with a uh, silver chloride form positive ions. And uh, we have the three methods, more Wolgert and Fayans Hodakov methods. In each of these methods, we use different indicators. For example, more methods, we use as indicator uh, potassium bichromate for Wolgard method, we use iron chloride for Fayans Hadakov method, we use adsorption indicators eosine and fluorescein. And in the table, we can see the principle of these indicators and the color which form with the tetrant solution. And analyte ions, for example, in more method, we analyze chlorides, bromides, in Wolgard method, silver ions, chlorides, uh, cyanides, chromates in fayans hodakov method is determined bromide, chloride and iodides. Precipitation titration errors. During precipitation titration, due retitration of the solution indicator errors are observed. Total amount of titrant, normality and uh, volume of the solution, excess titrant volume of substance A plus volume of B multiplied concentration of B and the concentration of tetrant can be determined from the values of solubility product of sediment of constant of uh, instable uh, of complex of tetrant with indicator. The ratio of ex uh, excess amounts of tetrant to its total quantity consumed for titration multiplied by 100 represented the titration error by in, in uh, percent. And uh, we find the titration error using the equations. If indicator is complex compound, so we use this equation. For example, titration of 50 milliliter of uh, 0.1 normality potassium chloride with 50 milliliter of 0.1 normality of silver nitrate solution in the presence of uh, 10 minus 4 mole liter of the indicator potassium chromate. At the end point of titration, the concentration of silver nitrate uh, in the solution being titrating is uh, equal to the silver uh, chromate decomposite on silver uh, positively charged silver ions and chromate ions and solubility product for the uh, this precipitation is equal to multiply 10 uh, minus 12 degree and uh, after the calculations we found that the titration exponent uh, titration error is equal 0.28 percent and if you increase the concentration of the indicator uh, 100 times the error decreasing one times and uh, from the equations uh, we found that the a uh, titration error is equal 0.028%. It was the uh, last information of our first lecture. Thanks for attention.